So far, you've used the APIs Explorer to investigate and test the functions in your application. So you've got the Get Profile, the Save Profile. However, the Conference Central application includes a full web UI. And each of the pages in the web UI sends calls to the Endpoints API on the back end. As you implement the back end functionality, the web pages in the app will start to work. Right now, they don't all work. For example, if you go to Show Conferences, it's not going to find any conferences because the implementation, because you haven't written the code to find conferences. But in this lesson, we implemented the code to get and set profiles, so the My Profile page now works. So let's see what happens if I change my profile. Let me change my t-shirt size to very small, extra small. Change my display name to Jocelyn B. I'll update my profile. And the profile has been updated. Excellent. When I click the Update Profile button, what happens is that this web page in behind the scenes is sending a call off to the Save Profile endpoint function that you just implemented. The goal of this course is to help you learn how to develop App Engine applications, not to teach you JavaScript. However, I do want to point out the code that makes the call to get profile and to save profile. So now here we are in Eclipse, and you'll find the code for the web pages or the web UI under SRC Web App, and you'll see there's the CSS folder, the fonts folder, the IMG, there's index.html, then there's a JavaScript folder, JS, and then there's this thing called partials, which is the HTML pages. What I want to look at first is controllers.js, because this has the code that calls the get profile and the save profile methods. So let's look at get profile. So here's the code that sends the call to the get profile endpoint function. And you see here it's gappy.client to invoke the client library. And then conference is the name of the API. And then get profile is the method name. And again, we execute. And then here's the code to call when the request is successfully executed. And in this case, you can see that the code's just right here in line. It's not in a separate function. But this is the callback to call when the call to get profile succeeds. Let's look at save profile. I'll search for it. And here it is. And again, I just want to point out, here's the call to gappy.client or gapi.client. And then the conference is the name of the endpoints. And then save profile is the method to call. In this case, we're passing it one argument. And then we call the execute to execute the request. And again, here's the call. Here's the code to execute in the callback that's called when save profile complete successfully, if save profile completes successfully. So that's all I really wanted to point out here. I'm not going to go into the rest of the UI code in detail. I just wanted to show you the hook where the JavaScript issues the call to the endpoint functions. As you go through the course, you're going to be implementing the endpoint functions. And I wanted you to know how they get called from the UI.